Hi guys, this is Darko from TV Calibration with Darko and in this video I will show you settings for gaming on Samsung 65 inch JU7002. You guys wanted me to do calibration for gaming so here it is. First let me show you how to activate game mode, you go to menu, then system, then general and here you see game mode, it's turned on. Once it's turned on, in picture mode you will get game mode, special picture mode which you cannot change and basically ability to adjust different settings. By default picture is not really great, uh, too much blue, gamma is all crazy, dynamic contrast is on, also TV is then using native color gamut which is far beyond uh, Rec 709, actually it's not so bigger than Rec 709, but still it makes colors oversaturated. So let's go back to game mode, backlight 12 which yielded around 230 nits, I think that this is more than enough for gaming. Contrast was 100 by default, but it made white balance go crazy at brightest areas so I reduced it to 90 brightness is ok, sharpness reduced also from 50 to 20 to reduce artificial sharpening color and tint without modification picture size I recommend 16 by 9 and basically depending on the source either auto or on if you will have issues with overscan, turn this feature on. Now let me go into advanced settings where you see dynamic contrast off, same goes for black tone, flash tone at zero. Color space is native by default but I recommend going to custom and do small tweaks. I did only small tweaks on the red and green, primary colors, but here is also how other colors look by default. Okay. White balance only, two point white balance is available, but actually this is more than enough. So you see small tweaks here. Gamma at default zero. And that's it in advanced settings. Let's see picture options. Color tone was standard by default, which made image too much blue. Warm is much, much closer to the original. HDMI black level is normal. Um, basically this will then give you 0 to 255 range, which is used for PC or game consoles. HDMI UHD color, now this is area where uh, you can play, this setting will give you more details in colors because if this option is disabled for HDMI input you're using then you will have reduced color resolution which you can see if you come closer to the screen you will see that font is not as clear as it should be that letters are not as smooth as they can be although uh, for best PC usage I recommend turning this HDMI UHD color on and also changing HDMI name to PC. This will then give you 444 color reproduction and best sharpness of all types of colors. Okay, now going back to gaming, basically this is it except for a smart LED which is local dimming which basically can improve contrast. It's not too precise, but still at low will give you some benefit. So guys, as you can see, after small modification you can really get nicely balanced picture, great for gaming. I really enjoyed playing games on this 65 inch screen and I suggest you really take some time and adjust settings for much much better gaming experience. Thank you for watching and see you next time.